Question seven. Okay, let's have a look at part one. Dx dt is equal to two cosine t. Dy dt is equal to cos goes to minus sine two t multiplied by this differentiated which is two plus two cosine t. If we take out the two uh, cos t, this would be one minus, this is two sine cos, so we've got a two with a minus, and then just the sine t is there. So dy dx then is equal to two cosine t over the two cosine t which is 1 minus 2 sine t. Stationary point happens equals naught when sine t is equal to a half. That tells us that t is pi over 6, 30 degrees. When t varies from minus pi to pi over 2, it's only going to be 30 degrees. So x equals 2 sine t two halves of one and y is equal to t is 30 degrees so it's cos 60 which is a half plus two halves of one so it's three over two isn't it y so we can just put that down okay that was part one Cartesian equation part two Okay, uh, x is equal to 2 sine t and y is equal to um, cos 2t, which is 1 minus 2 sine squared t, using the double angle formula. And then it was plus something, plus 2 sine t. So y equals 1 minus 2 sine squared is x over 2 squared plus 2 lots of x over 2 1 plus x minus x squared over 2 okay there's the Cartesian equation what's the range of x well, I've got it here from working it out before, so let's just check that. So as t goes from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2, t goes from pi over 2 to minus pi over 2. So x equals uh, sine 90 minus 2. Minus 90 is minus 2. When it's 90, it goes to 2 and everything in between. So there's the range of x values as t varies between minus 90 and 90. Um, sketch. Now I'm going to do a quick sketch with a digital pen as best I can. See what we've got. It's a quadratic curve between minus 2 and 2. x, y, origin, we've got y equals 1 plus x minus x squared over 2. Let's have a look at that then. So when x is 2 and minus 2 is where we're drawing it from. When x is naught, y is 1. It's a negative curve, so it's an N-shaped curve. Okay, um, at 2, we've got 1 plus 3, minus 2, isn't it? Because that's 2 squared, it's 2. It's 2. Um, hang on. Is that the right curve? Let's just have a look at it again. 
Yeah, I think that looks okay. Y is equal to... One minus two sine squared plus two sine t. Yeah, everything looks fine. So when x is two, uh, we got th uh, th one plus two. Here we go. That's better. One plus two is three. Minus two equals one. Put minus 2 in, we get 1 minus 2 is minus 1, and this will be minus 2, so that's minus 3. So we come down to minus 3 here. There's symmetry in the curve, so this must be the highest value here. So it's going to come up like a quadratic, and then just go down to here. Oops, apologies for the poor quality of the drawing. That's the quadratic, y equals 1 plus x minus x over 2.